Hey, hi, hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And it's time for another edition of our weekly track roundup, where I go over what I felt were the worst and the best tracks of the week. They're all linked down below, so you can check them out for yourselves if you are curious. Also linked down below, a uh, link for our sponsor, the good people over at The Ridge. They make these nice, awesome, nifty, metal-plated wallets that you should be familiar with by now. Hopefully, personally, because you picked one up. Uh, again, if you haven't, use that link down below. Promo code MELON10% OFF. These things are bitching. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Also, our Turntable Lab link is down there. Our Patreon link is down there as well if you want to get some cool extra bonus monthly content that supports the channel and supports us and everything. Uh, also access to our Discord page, monthly classic album live streams. Check it out. Check it out. All right, worst tracks of the week. We have a few. Let me make a quick note of something. Uh, all right. First off, this new track from Wallows, which is a pretty cheap piece of Neo Psych, sounds like some MGMT runoff, uh, not all that interesting, and the songwriting is pretty mediocre too, with this uh, new single, it's titled Nobody Gets Me Like You. Also, uh, I'm Corny, Tom McDonald. Uh, yes, you are. You are corny. All right. Uh, we also have a new track from Omar Apollo that sounds like a Frank Ocean ripoff. Not into it at all. It's titled Kamikaze. Don't get the point. Uh, David Guetta and Sia, where Sia delivers an absolutely abhorrent uh, vocal performance. She sounds goofy on this one. I do not know why. But the uh, title of this one is Let's Love, if I didn't say that already. Uh, the Geta production is actually pretty great, though. I mean, it's an 80s throwback. It's very groovy. It's very neon colored, like the cover. Uh, but C is just going for something really odd vocal style wise on this one. And I, I just don't really think it uh, plays to her strengths, if I'm being honest. All right. And we also have this uh, other track from the forthcoming Biba Doobie project uh, still teasing toward that worth it is the title and yeah it's just some very weak 90s rock pastiche uh, i don't see the appeal quite so much i mean if you lived through the era you've kind of heard this done better uh, if you haven't maybe you're into the nostalgia for a time that you missed but um outside of that i don't, I don't really see what's so exciting about it all right meh <clears throat> the tracks i was kind of met on but still wanted to point out to you, you might like them more than me, who knows. Uh, first off, this new Vatican Shadow track, uh, Dominic of, <clears throat> of course, Prurient is the mastermind behind this project. And this track over here, which is uh, titled seemingly uh, Taxi Journey Through the Teeming Slums, uh, slums excuse me, of Tehran, is like an industrially tinged electronic dance music cut. Uh, with lots of rough textures. I wish the progression of it all was more interesting, but uh, it's still a pretty decent listen. Next, a new cut from Trippy Red featuring Busta Rhymes, where I, I don't think these two work together on paper or in practice, honestly. I feel like Busta, I mean, he did his thing lyrically, but uh, was honestly kind of struggling to fit into Trippy Red's context, in my opinion. Um, Trippy's vocal performance wasn't all that bad. I think it's a, one of his more solid tunes as of late, but the Busta Rhymes feature kind of dragged the whole thing down a little bit and didn't do much for the track in my humble opinion. Uh, we also have this new track from Tobacco, which kind of sounds like a Black Moth Super Rainbow leftover, unfortunately. Jin Minkin is the title. Um, you know, I, I typically like when Tobacco sounds fairly separated from uh, Black Moth, and I just don't really feel like this is one of those cases. Just some very gummy, beat-heavy psychedelia that's uh, whispery, breathy, um, a little hazy. It's okay. Uh, moving on from there, Young Thug and T.I., Ring. I think uh, Thugger kills it on this track, but every time T.I. is on, he is really just dragging the cut down, especially on this hook, which is mediocre as 
F. Uh, we have this Still Woozy track over here as well, which is quite sweet on the ears. It's titled BS. It's very dreamy, laid back, bedroom poppy, a little Mac DeMarco-ish too. Um, tune isn't blowing me away, but it's got a pleasant vibe to it. Uh, MIA has a new track out. Yay! 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 It's titled Control. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of about state government, world control, revolution, politics, free speech, so on and so forth. Uh, but the lyrics read kind of as very blatant, uh, underwhelming sloganeering. Meanwhile, the production doesn't go quite as hard as it could, and the vocals are mixed into the beat in an odd way. It feels almost like a demo. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm dying for new, exciting, revolutionary music from MIA, but I feel like this uh, track just doesn't cut the mustard. Uh, we also have Jake Paul 23, another single, which is a very generic trap, but, uh, sounds better than I guess you would expect a Jake Paul song or single to sound. It's, uh, certainly not as trash as, you know, it's every day and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I, I guess it's okay. He's sounding like as, as listenable as other people who are in this exact lane, but not really doing anything to stand out in my opinion. Uh, we also have Bruce Springsteen, Letter to You, I think one of his more solid tunes in a while, nothing mind-blowing, but the performance is pretty energetic, and the song itself is uh, somewhat emotionally potent. That's all right. And we also have this track that, uh, I don't know, surprised me a little bit from A. Swayze and the Ghosts, Cancer. Uh, kind of a post-punk throwback on this one. Uh, very fiery performance, but not exactly like revolutionary in terms of its sound and style, that sort of thing. Uh, all right, let's move into the best tracks of the week. We have a handful of those as well, some good ones. Let's serve them up. Uh, Yellow Days, new track featuring Mac DeMarco, The Curse. Kind of some very freaky, laid-back, funky shit with a bit of instrumental, accompany, uh, instrumental accompaniment from DeMarco. Um, haven't heard Yellow Days sounding quite this eccentric before, but I am liking that and will be looking forward to the new record. We have a Tropical Fuckstorm doing a cover over here of Talking Heads Heaven, which uh, moved me quite a bit. I thought it was a beautiful rendition, uh, one of my favorite songs from the band. So whenever I do hear a cover, which there are quite a few, my expectations are high. And uh, TFS passed with flying colors. We have also Baptize, new track from Spillage Village. Uh, whose new record at the end of this month I am very excited for. And uh, Jid, Earth Gang on this one, totally kill it. Insane production. It's trippy, it's left field, it's lyrical, the flows are insane too. Um, just really fucking with it. Like another lot. <clears throat> New Order, Be a Rebel, really throwing it back to the 80s, that classic uh, power corruption and low life era New Order sound on this single and sounding good as hell doing it. Uh, loving it. Just loving the shit out of it. Uh, okay on Your Own. That's funny. It's almost like it's pretty much like the same font. Pretty much the same font between these two. That's cute. Oops. Uh, different font. But anyway, uh, MXM Tune with Carly Rae Jepsen. Whoa. Whoa, that is a crossover. Uh, okay, On Your Own, and it's a, a pretty little pop tune with some decent vocal chemistry between these two. I mean, at least they sound good on the same track, and Carly kind of kills it on her verse. And um, yeah, it's just a lovely song with uh, good production. Uh, the ukulele is, isn't quite my thing. I feel like the track really could have used uh, just a straight frickin' guitar. It would have sounded a million times better, but it's still a great song with uh, uh, good vocal performances, so... Uh, we also have uh, Mamu, Wanna Be Myself, a K-pop outfit that I am not super well versed in the work of, but uh, this is a really nice piece of disco-tinged dance pop, stellar hook, uh, not reinventing the wheel or anything, I mean, kind of borrowing a lot of very obvious ideas for some previously popular songs, but uh, they're put together in a really great way, good production, good energy, and the tune is infectious as hell. Uh, we also have Janelle Monet, Turntables, a really cool combination of soul, rap, and funk with good flows from Monet. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess this is, uh, you know, for like a Netflix thing. So I don't know if this is going to be indicative of anything she's doing into the future with her own work, maybe on a new record or something. But uh, still as a standalone tune or moment, it's it's good as hell. So uh, just to, continuing to enjoy uh, her music. All right, uh, we also have James Blake doing a Frank Ocean cover of Godspeed, which is gorgeous. 
<laughs> God, it's gorgeous. I want to cry to it. James, James, you bitch. I want to cry to this shit, James. I, I hate you. I hate I love you. I hate you. I love you. You're great. Just, just keep on doing what you're doing. All right, we also have a Homeboy Sandman with what I think is one of the most powerful songs I have ever heard in this man's catalog. The title of this one over here is Trauma with uh, production from Quelly Chris. And uh, he goes pretty deep into his own personal trauma uh, sexually as a kid. I'm not going to get deep into it because, um, you know, I, I don't want to uh, trigger anybody and I don't want to have this video be demonetized or whatever. But uh, it's a very heavy track, very lyrical. Uh, uh, I guess I guess clear headed narrative to it as well. It's pretty thorough, you know, examination of his uh, uh, own demons in a way. So, you know, know that going into the track again, Heavy, heavy experience on this one. And uh, once more, I think one of the more thoughtful and uh, moving songs that he's uh, ever put out. I mean, I think one of the realest hip hop tracks I've heard all year. All right. We also have a new track from Gorillaz featuring Robert Smith of The Cure fame. Uh, Strange Times. Killer. Awesome. Fantastic. Great production. Did a full length review of this one over on the Fantano channel. Check it out. Uh, Aesop Rock. The Gates. Great production. Great flows. Great lyrics. As always, good energy. Excited for the new record. Aesop Rock continues to kill it. And we also have Action Bronson over here with a new single, Goldeneye. A lot better than that Latin Grammys one. Cool reggae flip on the production. Lots of funny quotables in his bars. Uh, not a super strong chorus or anything like that, but the track has a great vibe, good energy, and uh, action lyrically and, you know, just flow-wise, I think he is uh, on his game. So uh, I think that is going to be it. Weekly track roundup over, everyone. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, got some good recommendations out of this one. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best, best, best. Mwah. Love you. Have a good one. Shout out once more to the Ridge. And um, yeah. Yeah. I hope you have a nice day. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Forever.